Okay, we're going to set up a little bit of an experiment here. Today we're talking about growing grapes from seed. And realistically, the only time you're talking about growing grapes from seed is when you're talking about a breeding program. And so here I have little uh, 50 milliliter beakers. Uh, I'm going to put about 40 milliliters of seed in each one. Uh, these grape seeds that I collected are from after the processing of uh, some Cabernet grapes from different areas and some Sangio grapes uh, and possibly some Muvedra and Norton vines. And the thing is with uh, seed is we don't know where the seeds flower was pollinated from. If we say most likely it came from a Cabernet vine, that's fine, but that Cabernet vine was a clone. Its flowers are a re representation of uh, sharing of genetic information. And so this seed won't come true to type, won't be identical to the, uh, to the parent plant because it's not done in a clone. And so when we talk about asexual reproduction, we're talking about clones, cuttings, uh, typically dormant hardwood cuttings done in the wintertime. But with the seed production, that's why it's not done frequently. But for breeders of grapevines, the only way to get uh, more grape varieties is by utilizing seed to get more information unless it's a mutation that occurs and then uh, the mutation would be reflective of a, a loss of genetic material that may make a better grape somehow but today we got this mixture of seeds uh, and grape seeds are very hard and so we're gonna put them in sulfuric acid uh, please don't do this at home I'm a trained professional so control is not gonna get anything uh, one minute in sulfuric acid. We're gonna take about 40 milliliters of seeds and that's probably about 200 seeds in there. We're gonna do one for five minutes and one for 10 minutes. We're gonna put the uh, sulfuric acid onto those, let it sit for the appropriate amount of time and then I'll show you uh, going into the tray, planting the grape seeds and then I'll do a follow up with the success that we had. This is called scarification. When you're doing scarification with these little grape, grape seeds, the, the ideal way to scarify would be to naturally these seeds are rubbed along some stream bank or ground up in the gravel somewhere. But because we're plant breeders now and we're planting seeds, we're not just planting a few. We're planting thousands of seeds and then we're going to evaluate them. So the easiest way to do thousands of seeds is get some way of breaking down this very hard seed coat. And so one of the best ways is by using sulfuric acid. It's safe enough if you don't splash it in your eyes. Uh, notice I have some safety glasses on. And then uh, we'll let these sit for different amounts of time. And then we'll determine how much time is appropriate to break down the seed coat. Too long and you'll kill the seed. Not long enough and it has no effect then on the seed. So we have the control one minute, uh, five minutes and ten minutes. Okay, the only one that's left is uh, the 10 minutes, and if I touch the side of the container, it's actually starting to get warm. I can tell the sulfuric acid is working because it's bubbling on those grape seeds. And so, so far I've planted the control, and I showed you an example of how that was done. I got the uh, one minute grapes planted in the same method, and then I got the five minutes. So different exposures to sulfuric acid has to do with how hard the seed coat is. And the word for that is scarification. So in one more minute, I'm gonna take the 10 minute grapes off, plant those seeds in this container, and then I'll put them here in the greenhouse under uh, spray, which comes on twice a day. Kind of a convenient area for growing things. The temperatures in here are typically about 80 to 85 in the day, no cooler than 65 at night. Perfect summertime temperatures for grape germination, as long as we get the scarification correct. <laughs> 